Hi everyone, this is Abby from Mozalingua. Today's topic is one that is sometimes overlooked, but it's one of the most powerful ways to help you stop sounding like a foreigner when you speak English. Today's video is all about the English possessive. One thing seems to be true about almost everyone who is learning English, no matter what country they come from. Non-native English speakers love using of phrases instead of apostrophes when talking about possession in English. Here's what I mean. Instead of saying, my sister's cat, most English language students will say, the cat of my sister. So, does this make their version wrong? Not exactly. Does the sentence sound strange to native English speakers? Yes. This is likely because the grammatical structures in the person's native language do not include an apostrophe s equivalent. Even though most of the time these two forms are interchangeable, meaning that you can either use the of phrase or the apostrophe s correctly in most situations, the apostrophe form will make you sound much more natural. So, this is a habit you might need to break if you want to sound more natural when speaking English. Feeling a bit uneasy about breaking that habit? Don't worry, we're here to help. Of course there are some exceptions, but I have a hack for you that works most of the time. At Mozalingua, we believe in the 20-80 principle. That means learn the 20% of rules that work in 80% of cases. Here it is. If you are talking about at least one animate object, meaning a person or an animal, such as a relationship between two people, or something that belongs to someone, use the apostrophe form. Otherwise, it is often most natural to use an of phrase, such as the name of the city, or the color of her hair. That's easy, right? Now that you know when to use it, let's look at how to use it. If you are tempted to use an of phrase, use that as your starting point. Take, for example, the teacher of my brother. It doesn't sound natural at all, but there's a quick fix for that. Since we are talking about two people, we'll turn it into a possessive statement using an apostrophe. First, take the second portion of the sentence my brother in this case, and move it to the beginning. Then add an apostrophe and an S to the end of it. My brothers. Next, get rid of the of and the article before the first part. In this case, we had the teacher. So this will become just teacher. That's it. So what are you left with? My brother's teacher. Practice makes perfect. Try turning the following of phrases into possessive statements with an apostrophe s using the tips you just learned. The boyfriend of your aunt. Remember, here we have two animate objects. Your aunt's boyfriend. The mayor of the town. Here we have one animate and one inanimate object. The town's mayor. Did you get it right? Here's the trickier one. The new car of my father. This becomes my father's new car. And one last challenge for you. Mosalingua is the best friend of a language student. Ready for the answer? Mozalingua is a language student's best friend. So, how did you do? Keep practicing this skill as often as you can. To review, when there are two people or animals, always use the apostrophe form. Think of it this way, animate equals 
apostrophe. When there is only one person or animal and one inanimate object, you can use either form, but generally the apostrophe form is best. And when both items are inanimate, use an of phrase. If you liked this video, leave us a comment or a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more language hacks, tips, facts, lessons, and more. See you soon. Bye.